So what do we know about the relationship between, call it naturally acquired vitamin D through sunlight versus supplementation of vitamin D uh, exogenously through you know a supplement? Do we, do we have any reason to believe that those are different at the same level of vitamin D? In the same, like, like in terms of like how vitamin D is acting. So the thing is, is that when you're in sunlight, like there's other things going on, right? That's, that's my point. Like and if so, you're outside getting sunlight, you're more active. And you're nitric oxide. Like there's like other things that you're getting from the sunlight. So yeah. there's a confounder there. Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, like with respect to, let's say, forget every, like, let's say you finally, you, you, you convert the vitamin D3 into the 25 hydroxy vitamin D into the 125, you know. At that level, it's it is the same, like you know, to some degree. I mean, that's not when it's when it's binding to the vitamin D receptor, like the 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 actual one twenty five hydroxy vitamin D, which is the active steroid hormone. It, it's the same. Yeah. Um, now, with respect to like you know, your body regulates how much vitamin D three is converted or is released in the bloodstream and converted into 25-hydroxy vitamin D at the level of sun exposure. 